the same cameraman said, um, come on, don't talk to me like that. Don't sell me nonsense. How can I stop my kids watching the computer, using the smartphone, being digitally civilized? Because if I stop that, my kids will be like persons with disability. They will not be in the contemporary society. They will not be part of the people living in civilized conditions as everybody does. How will you answer that? Oh, there are many answers. First, you should think of the risks and side effects of this technology. We haven't talked about this. It's not just learning, dis learning detriment, mm -hmm. not just more attention problems. Um, a, a lower grade in school, it is also depression, uh, the more you, sp the more hours American girls spend with this, the more likely they are, they are uh, suicidal. And over the past seven years, the number of suicides in the U.S. In, among girls has doubled. Um, so this is a serious concern. In Great Britain, they have been able to show that girls who spend with this more than three hours a day are more than twice as likely to be depressed when they are 18. Um, a large study showed in, uh, in adolescents, the more they use this, the less empathy they have for their parents and their peers. We know that this causes diabetes, elevated blood pressure, this causes... Diabetes? Diabetes. Yes, I tell you the, 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 the reason why. Because this causes less sleep between one to two hours, depending upon how much you use it over the day, and particularly depending upon how much you use it before you go to bed, because this has blue light, and the blue light suppresses yeah. your melatonin, which is a sleep hormone, so your sleep is, is suppressed. Um, um, and when you have less sleep chronically, you get a pre-diabetic me metabolism, so less sleep is a, a risk factor for diabetes. So if you have, you know, uh, if I sleep a little less, that doesn't matter because uh, I, if I, even if I now get diabetes, that doesn't matter much because it takes decades to develop the strokes and I I everything bad that comes from diabetes. But if you get this at, at, at 10 or 15, you have all the time that you need to develop all the risks and side effects and you get them. That's my point. But I'm not, I'm not done. This, is, this has replaced alcohol as the number one cause of traffic accidents. You must know this. Okay, and and that's right. Yeah. And and then we have uh, falsity spreads faster than the truth on uh, on these on this medium. Yeah. A recent paper showed this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so 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 we have all these downsides uh, on top of you know people get fatter because they move less because they sit and do all this with the thing. And if you and if you add this all up, tobacco hmm. is tiny. We haven't talked about addiction. This causes not only smartphone addiction, it also causes alcohol and nicotine addiction. Shown. If you add this all up, this is really the worst killer that we have. And so, would you, I mean, in discussing this with many yeah. people, you know, I, I have had this argument. I mean, would you really give a thing that's so dangerous as this to your kid when, when the kid's eight or 10 mm. or, or 12 and to your cameraman, I would say. Or three well, or four or six. Or three or uh -huh. four or six, it's even worse uh, at that age. Um, so you, you, to your cameraman, I would say, you know what, if, if you don't give this out or give it out as a present, you don't have to forbid it every night next, from next day onward. So, I mean, Bill Gates has said, this is nothing for my 13-year-old daughter. The, the, the chief of Apple has said, this is nothing for my, for, for my nephew who is in school because it ruins school performance. Uh, the, chief of the former chief of Facebook said, this is meant to be causing addiction, in particular when you use Facebook on it. So, so I mean, we have all these statements. And in fact, recently, Apple investors, they said, to, they, they wrote a letter to Apple saying, hey, uh, this could cause addiction and um, and if what, four billion people these are the number of the smartphone users on the globe sue Apple for compensation Apple is going to be broken that's our money so I mean it's not me you know saying yeah. all this and I'm not fear-mongering and I'm not conservative I'm just talking seriously about the medical literature under the risks and side effects of mm. these things and I think we have to take it seriously for example, four, four weeks ago in Germany, they, they, they discussed in the German parliament a new law. And the law is saying that you must not use this to film dying traffic uh, victims. Yep. 
because this has happened in Germany yeah. and the film turned up on Come YouTube or whatever. Yeah. Yes. So, we, I mean, how morally decayed is that? That we have to have a law right. for obviously being the most unempathic uh, behavior uh, or display the most uh, non-empathic behavior that right. I can think of. That is, if the person mm. dies, not going there helping or whatever, mm. but but filming the guy and right. put this on video. On I, this is this is just showing how bad the, Russia you, is. You got the sensation, the clear sensation that if you don't film it, that is not real. <laughs> well. We have other people who stepped over a person lying in front of a money machine and back. And the fifth cared about the man. I mean, these are examples of complete lack of empathy. In fact, I, you know, I, I, I'm running a hospital, a mental hospital, yep. acute mental hospital. So I talk to police because they sometimes bring yep. patients, etc. So I talk to them, how, how, what, what has changed in the recent decades? They say, no, you know, if we had always fist fights among people. I mean, a bit of alcohol, mm -hmm. a bit youngish people, and, uh, and they fight, you know. But there's one difference. Now, even if somebody's laying completely motionless, they still kick into the into the face of the of the poor person it used to be that they stopped so this complete lack of empathy that's you and in fact there are large scale studies from the US showing we have a lack of empathy in particular in the last 10 years we have an increased narcissism um, me 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 it's the iPod yeah. the iPhone I mean I got a photo camera when I was 12 for my father and I liked to, to taking photographs it would have it wouldn't have occurred to me to do a selfie which is the, 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 the most done photo by young people on the globe. It's a selfie. I, I, I never in my life did a selfie when I was under 18 and later on, well, maybe with my friend or whatever. You could be answered something like this. You are an enemy of self-esteem. No. In fact, I am all for self-esteem because self-esteem is one of the most important things we can teach to our kids. But if you look at this, and you find all the time that the party is better at the party where you are not, that the grass is greener on the other side, all the time, yeah, okay? Yeah. Then you think, oh, I'm missing out. I'm missing out again, and I'm missing out again. So you're trying to, improv to, to, to improve your life but using this, but you learn you miss out all the time. And, and so how do you earn self-esteem this way? You don't. And if you and if you can't, you know, do soccer or play basketball yeah. or play, I mean, if you play an instrument or play basketball or you create something, I mean, with your hands, you know, with the clay or you draw something, hey, I have done this. But how can you, with this, be proud of something? Hey, I beat a million space invaders. I don't think you get much proud, pride out of this.